Hey, what's up, I'm Maniacs, my name is Unamane, and welcome back to an episode of Pokemon X Butterfree Solo Run. Yeah, yeah, woo, woo, woo. Alright, anyways, uh, so last episode, we, uh, we took on the Sky Trainer here. <laughs> we made it through Slosh City, uh, well, not Slosh City, Geosense Town, and we took on a whole shitload of Team Flare members, and now we've made our way up here took on the sky trainer i did say that i was gonna take on like backtrack and take on the sky trainer thingy majiggers but i think i might do that after i get fly i really don't feel like running back there doing it just for that i'll get fly fly back there and and then do it and then we'll continue on but um make sure if you guys notice that i missed the sky trainer because i don't know where they all are uh make sure you guys let me know in the comment section um and speaking of sky trainers i think that's gonna be today's question of the day which i will do after I skip that, well, I guess I don't really have to skip them because it's a double battle and I don't have two Pokemon, but I will skip you! Ah! Um, what do you guys think of Sky Battles? That's what I want to know. Do you do you like them? Do you think it's a good addition to the game? Do you think it was pointless? Maybe they should have just done without it. Uh, you guys can let me know down in the comment section below. I think it'll be... like okay. So in X and Y, and especially in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, I don't think they had Sky Battles at all. Um... They're like irrelevant. They're like out of the way side things. You don't even know they're there half the time. And it was kind of pointless and didn't matter if you did them or not. Nothing special happened. Uh, and they're like, you know, like I said, there weren't a lot of them. And it was kind of dumb. Uh, I think it would have been a lot better if they imp like it, they should have implemented it a lot better. Like made it more obvious and more rewarding more fun maybe I don't know like maybe having a double sky battles would have been a lot better than having uh, just normal sky battles I don't know I just feel like it like you know I when they, they, they announced sky battles I thought there was gonna be like a sky battle gym where I have to use Pokemon that fly I don't know like I think that would have been a lot better it would have been you know out, out in the forefront everybody would know about it and everybody will have to use it. Um, does that make sense? I feel like that would have been a better option for them to do. Maybe, like I said, make a, a flying gym where it is a sky battle. You have to use a flying type Pokemon. Um, and, you know, some of you guys are saying, Oh, you know, forcing us to use fl only flying types. You know, like, come on, there's Charizard. 90% of you chose Charizard uh, as your Kanto, re your Kanto region starter Pokemon. So, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, there's, there's a lot like Vivalon, uh, Butterfree, um, who else is there? Talonflame? Like, I'm pretty sure a lot of people use Talonflame on their, on their huge group, or on, on their huge group, what? On their, like, their main roster in the first playthrough or whatever. I'm just gonna run from these? It seems like a waste of my time. Maybe I should, uh, top off the health here. No, that's not what I want. I'm not good with the joypad on the 3DS, I'll tell you that. Not the joypad, the joystick. Oh uh, yeah, so I really wish they had it more in the forefront, like even giving us like competitive options. Can you imagine like a competitive scene for Sky Battles? Has that ever been a thing in that special rules? Huh, an item. Has it? You can only use, you know, flying Pokemon or be like Pokemon that can be used in Sky Battles. So I think, can, yeah, I think Gengar can be used in, in uh, Sky Battles too, right? Oh, excuse me. So, yeah, you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of Sky Battles. Do you like it? Do you like the concept? Was, was it poorly executed? Do you think it's stupid? You know, they should have put it in. A waste of time. Uh, and, you know, what do you guys think they could have done to make it better? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm interested. I'm hella interested. Rog and Rolla, we ain't sticking around for this. We ain't sticking around for this. We're gonna get the hell out of here. I think we are gonna run into Tierno here and he's gonna be gonna give us Flash. Or we can run into this wild Pokemon. What is this? Swoobat? Goldbat? Zubat? It's a Swoobat. Oh sorry, Woobat. My bad. Psychic flying. Uh, do we stick around for this? Wow, maybe I should hit, should have hit up the Pokemon Center before going into this fucking cave. <laughs> Assurance? Not worried. Not worried. 
not worried one bit. I kind of want to take it on because it's level 23 and we kind of need the XP. Oh, there goes the Woo Bat. See you later, buddy. See you later, buddy. <laughs> I used to love uh, Woo Bat and Swoo Bat back when it first came out. Like, I used it as part of my team. I thought oh, we took more damage than that. I don't know why. But I've only ever used it. When, when was it? What was it? Gen 5? It came out, I think? Question mark? I think so. Anyways, whatever gen it came out, I used that. And that was the only gen I used it in. I mean, let's be real, it's not really that good. <laughs> uh, we should go for side beam. Please don't have rock tomb, rock throw, sand tomb, whatever the fuck it is. Vital throw? Yeah, we can eat that up. I think we quad resist fighting, right? I don't know, I still haven't looked that up. Gus, what'll do more? Gus or side beam? Let's see here. Definitely Gus. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. <laughs> Seems like every time I want to find out what does more, side beam or Gus. The second one always crits. Always crits. Level 35. We're, we are... Ooh, Halucha. That's a little scary. Hopefully he doesn't have Rock Throw. Oh, he has Rock Team. Monarch. Oh, my lord. Please, one hit KO. One hit KO. One hit KO. We are so fucked right now. Uh, Was I faster? I, I'm not faster. Oh, no. This is going to be a death. Oh no. The realization here just sunk in. Okay. Oh my god. And he keeps making my speed fall. <laughs> I'm like nine levels ahead of him. And he's kicking my ass. I need to make sure I use sleep powder. That's another death. That is another death. <laughs> Why? Why? Well, at least now we get to, you know, fully heal and go back in. I'm going to pick up some more super potions and hyper potions before I go in there. And uh, anything that I think has rock throw or sand tomb or not sand tomb rock tomb or anything like that i need to make sure i fucking use sleep powder <laughs> uh let's grab another 10 of these and we will grab another 10 of these yes yeah, do that that's pretty much the, gonna be the only thing we're buying is uh hyper potions probably repels later on and then we'll make sure we have at least five of each of the uh the heal thingies Status heals. Let's get on our bike. Let's uh, let's get back there as fast as we freaking can. Nah, hopefully. Oh yeah, I just realized we got citrus berry. Once I get fly though, I'll be uh, planting those citrus berries. And uh, do I have any repels? Maybe I should have picked up repels. That'd be all hella useful in here. I don't have repels, do I? Are they? Oh, I do. I oh okay, good. I fly. We just repel so we can get back a little bit faster. But yeah, uh, so that way I have a, a decent hel uh, hold item, held item for... I'm gonna just gonna skip that bitch, fuck that. Yeah, so we have like a decent held item for Monarch. Because, uh, you know, like if, if I had a Citrus Berry on Monarch there, I probably would have been able to live another Rock Tomb and then take him out the next turn. Does that make sense? I think so. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of like you know, if something where it's a two hit KO, that, that that Citrus Berry can make it so that it's a three hit KO. You know, it could be a huge game changer. It's, for, like, it's funny because I'm not even scared of Electric type Pokemon. Parabolic Charge, we'll eat that up. See. <laughs> But the second is a rock team. Uh, it, see, the thing is that a lot of rock moves hit me on the physical side, and a lot of like the electric moves hit me on the special side. I have a lot of special defense, it's just not physical defense. Intimidate. That's okay. I don't attack anyways. Um, they are fairy type, right? I think I should be okay against him. 
Oh, he might have rock th uh, rock tomb. Please don't. Okay, headbutt. Whew. Whew. Not scared about headbutt at all. I mean, I would be if he was faster than me, but it's not. I think headbutt can make you flinch, right? I think so. I'm pretty sure it can. Pretty sure it can. Excuse me. Once again. Could be a lot of yawning. In case you're new around here. Lots of yawning. I yawn a lot. Don't know why. Not like I don't sleep or anything. <laughs> oh, good. This bitch heals us. Which is a waste because I just healed myself. But we get our PP back. No, stop. Uh, item. Item. That's what I want. Uh, yes. Use another. We'll just keep using them until we run out. Black belt. What does that do? What does... Is that fighting moves or super effective? I can't remember. I think that's the expert belt that's there, right? Uh, on the bottom. Yeah, powers up fighting type moves. Do I have anything we can hold yet? Anything? No. Like, even... Something that would power up flying moves, psychic moves, bug moves. Come on. Anyways, what's her name? Bonami? Ninarina? Oh no. That's okay. I got a side beam with your name on it. Sabi with your name on it. Let's do this. You have the poison type, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, to get the ground type being later. I don't know if she has it now, does it? Need, does Nina Arena have ground typing or is it Needle Queen? I don't know. I think it's Needle Queen that gets it. There's Tyrano. Hey Arnie! If you use the move Flash, not as many wild Pokemon will turn up. That's great. I'm not gonna use that at all. Not one bit. Kinda depends, blah blah blah. I'm still not very good at battling, so I keep running into trouble. I sure wish I could be as good as you. Well, maybe if you spent less time eating and less time uh, dancing, you could, you know, work on your, your Pokemon skills and be uh, a lot better at uh, battling. But you don't. You suck. So there you go. There you go. Anyways, uh, yeah, using the Repel. Um, I don't want to skip this guy. He's going to have fighting types. I am still gonna put him to sleep because of, uh, uh, I don't know, Rock Tomb. <clears throat> so, excuse me. I have to constantly keep clearing my throat. <sighs> excuse me again. I constantly keep yawning. <laughs> oh! Okay. I thought that was gonna do a lot more for some reason. I don't know why. Anyways, Gus. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Hold the guy. That went a lot smoother. And I just realized I didn't put him to sleep, even though I know those things can learn Rock Tomb. Damn it. I wish I could skip these guys. I really do. But, actually, no, I don't, because they use Psyche Pokemon, right? So, you know, Infestation. Dead. Infestation, and then I'll finish him up with Gust. Uproar. To make it so nobody can fall asleep, right? So that I can't even use sleep powder. Ooh. It's a good thing. Good thing I don't have to, right? Chemeco. See you later. So what's next? What do you got? Another Solosis or something? Ooh, level 36. We are soaring along. Safeguard. Ah, uh, no. No, thank you. Uh, Quiver Dance would be nice. Uh, Bug Buzz would be super nice. Um, what are you again? Uh, oh, I know. Something that's going to get sleep powdered. <laughs> I, I, because he's, what is he, Ground Ghost, I think? So, yeah, let's not take the chances of a rock tomb. How about that? <laughs> Uh, I guess we just go for Gust here, right? I think we do. Oh, oh, he woke up. Iron Defense? That's okay. 
not hitting you on the physical side. I am A-OK -okay with that. We gotta make sure we heal up Monarch after this. Oh god. One unexpected move and that's a dead Monarch. And we gotta go all the way back outside this cave. Come all the way back in. Get back to where we were. Not gonna be fun. Not gonna be fun. Uh, yeah, so let's heal up. Let's, yeah, let's heal, heal up so we don't have to, you know, die or anything like that. <laughs> Oh, oh. Damn it. I was actually kind of hoping to skip him. I'm like, ugh, I don't really want to battle anymore. I'm so done. I'm so over battling. <laughs> Nina Reno, I'm okay with that. Nice, nice clean side beam will annihilate Nita Reno. Nido Reno. Oh, you know, the more I see these rock tombs kind of flying at me, and I'm getting a little more worried about the next gym. Because I don't know if they have rock tube or not. <laughs> uh, but I think I think I should be alright. Like like I said, sleep powder is going to be the key to a lot of these gym battles. Uh, yes, use another one, please. Yeah, uh, sleep powder and then using... Uh, uh, side beam and, and gust and whatever moves I happen to know at the time, but I feel like like side beam. Maybe I should battle these guys. I think I should go and battle these guys, just so it helps ensure my victory. I think. I hope. Anyways, <laughs> um, but I think the next gym that I'm worried about is of course the electric gym, and then I think I'm in the clear until the ice gym, which is the last gym. I think. Oh wait. Oh, there you are. Oh. I was gonna say, I think he can learn. Uh, I, think, I think everybody can learn fucking rock tomb or yeah, rock tomb. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit him another infestation. And then uh, I'm like, so this whole time I'm I'm doing this LP here. I'm trying to think of things in the future and the problems I'm going to have rather than like the problems that are coming up like right next <laughs> we're alright with that oh monarch you beast you beast <laughs> um, I, I really need to find a place that sells X defenses I should probably look, at, look that up to see when, when the earliest is I can get X defense and uh, X special attack and all that stuff. Uh, what's down here? Oh, is this? Oh, I know what this is. Oh, god damn it! That's the whole. Um, what do you get from here? I know you get an Omega Stone later on. I don't think you get anything here now, do you? I don't think so. Maybe an item. Maybe an item. Can I get the item here? Do I have to go around? I think I have to go around. Hey, you see the see the stairs and the reflection. What do we got? An earth plate. Not gonna help us. I would have been okay if that was, you know, bug plate or flying plate or I don't know, <laughs> psychic plate. Ooh, we got TM seventy four Gyroball also. Not gonna help us. <laughs> I have to make sure I'm not jump, like, working my way towards jumping off a ledge. Yeah, I think this is what you get with the Mega Stones uh, during the end game, and we're gonna just run from this. We are not staying, in, or we might have Shadow Tag. Shit. Um. Sleep powder. And it's another reason why you use sleep powder. For these motherfuckers. <laughs> wow, how many yawns is that in this episode? God damn. And he woke up. Okay, good. He used safeguard. That makes it so he can't go to sleep, right? Like, he's not affected by, uh,. Status ailments. 
I'm gonna have to just go for Gus here and pray it kills. And it's not going to. Counter. Okay, good. Whoo. Okay. We just can finish off with Gus. I think that went a little smoother. Had he went for, um, what's it? What's it? Not counter, but the other one. It would have hurt a lot more. Okay, there's no item here for us, which sucks. I'm hoping we don't run into any more bloody Wobbuffets. Solosis. Solosis. Uh, yeah. I, I kind of want to battle him just for the level that we're going to get from it. Snatch? We don't have any items, though. Is that what it does? Is that what Snatch does? Uh, I have no idea. Just finish him up. We ain't got all day. Yes, I think I think we're just gonna move on and we're gonna get out of this this cave here, and we'll end up the we'll end off the episode. I think the next episode we will take on the gym leader. No, okay, ho, 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 ho. I thought, god damn it, I thought it was gonna be a ledge to jump off to go, you know, back to the other area where the chick is that heals me. Then I have to go all the way around again. I was gonna cry. <sighs> I probably would have just put the, the my 3DS down and ended it there and just be like, fuck it, we'll continue on in the next episode. Alright, so I think this is going to be the final battle of the episode. Let's do it. He's a hiker. He's probably going to have rock types or ground types. Um, I can hit this guy with infestation, though. Is that going to be neutral? I can't remember. Let's find out. It's not. It's a dead sand dial. That's what it is. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Dwebble? Um, sleep powder. That is what we're going to do to that. <clears throat> How do you take on a Dwebble? Sleep powder. Sleep powder and then gust. Gust because it's stab, I think. Well, I know it is. I'm just thinking, does stab gust do more than side beam? I think it does. Apparently so. <laughs> that went a lot smoother than I thought. What was that, Diggersby? Uh, yeah, Sleep Powder. Sleep Powder. All of the things. Because I am not taking a Rock Throw, Rock Tune bullshit from this guy. Um, let's go for Side Beam. And he's still asleep. Oh, thank God. I would have hated him if he woke up. Hated him if he woke up. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yawn, 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 yawn. Anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. We are here in Shalor City. And we will continue on. Uh, in the next episode, we'll do the whole Mega Evolution Guru stuff, and then I th think we're going to take on the gym leader, depending on how much bloody time the talking takes. <laughs> we'll take on the gym leader. Uh, I think I think we'll I think the next episode will like just completely finish off Shallower City. I don't care how long it actually goes for. We'll we'll do that, uh, and then we'll move right along uh, to the next to continuing our adventure so anyways guys thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed uh if you did make sure you hit the like button for me and show your support for the channel as well as the series and uh, don't forget to answer today's question today down in the comment section below and uh if you don't want to miss any future episodes of the pokemon or my pokemon x and butterfree solo run make sure you hit the subscribe button and i will catch you guys in the next one